America's foremost inventors have been visionaries who were able to foresee not just a new item, but a whole new way of life. There's the third kind of American inventor, those who respond to necessity. We had the house painted, and I just could not get the windows clean. There was this film on, no matter what I used, nothing would work. There was nothing on the market. And I said, it became frustrating, and I decided, if they can put a man on the moon, why can't we get a cleaner that can take this film off? Meet Marion Landis, all-American housewife from Cleveland, Ohio, who decided to tackle an age-old problem using only the tools of her trade. Some mixing bowls, a blender, and a heaping teaspoon of good old American ingenuity. I spent about four months of intensive experimentation, and I would mix up a batch, test it, and let it sit a few days and put a sign. Then I would take another bowl out. Pretty soon I had like 10 bowls uh, all over the counter saying, do not touch, do not shake, do not eat. <laughs> Until I found one that really worked beautifully. I said, aha, uh -huh, I've got it. At which point I knew that I could not make it in my bathtub. So Marion headed off into the Yellow Pages where she found a listing for product manufacturing. And right there in the A's was Asthma Labs the folks who turned Marion's recipe into a formula for success. The first time we made our the first production run, I was just awestruck. This is really my product, and it is going to be sold, and someone will actually buy it. And buy it they did in cities all across the country. And nowadays, Marion is cleaning up in the marketplace as well as at home. The funny thing is, I really hate to clean. For Marion, it was cleaning house, 